Hi friends. This Sunday in church, we continued the season of Easter and we talked about some stories where Jesus appeared to his disciples after his death and resurrection. And so with the kids during the education hour, we had breakfast on the beach with Jesus where he appears to his disciples as they are fishing. And we talked during worship about when Jesus appears to his friends in the closed room. That story continues with Thomas. And you know, when we're looking at these stories, the reason that we look to the Bible, we look to these stories is to have God's character revealed, to see who is God, who is Jesus. And so when we look to these stories, we look to see what does Jesus do? What is he doing in these excuse me, in these stories. And so when he appears to his friends in this room, he says, peace be with you. Now, this is Jesus appearing to these friends who let him down. You know, he asked them, please just stay awake, be with me while I pray. And they couldn't do that. They kept falling asleep. We have Peter who denied knowing Jesus three times. We have Judas who betrayed him. These are his, his friends. Please just stay awake. Stay with me during this hard time. And they couldn't even do that. And so instead of Jesus showing up and saying, what's up, guys? Where were you? You let me down. Jesus shows up and says, peace be with you. It is forgiven. He comes in love. And, you know, talking about Thomas, I think most of us, many of us grown ups growing up, were taught that this was doubting Thomas, right? Not a really positive spin on this. Because when I look back and think about Thomas, think about who Thomas was. Thomas was the one interrupting Jesus, asking questions, because he wanted to understand what Jesus was teaching. And I think most teachers would say, I would much rather have a kid asking questions, being curious, wanting to know more than having someone just sitting there and listening and maybe taking it in, maybe not. And so what if we thought about Thomas as curious Thomas, not doubting? Thomas has questions. Thomas wants to understand. Thomas wants to believe. But Thomas isn't the only one with these questions, with this curiosity, right? Mary and, and John and James, like the, Peter, lots of people have questions, right? We have questions. And I think it's so important to look at who Jesus is with Thomas. Here, here is my body. Peace be with you. Jesus comes with nothing but love and forgiveness for all of his friends, including and especially Thomas that there are no questions that we can ask that our God can't handle. That we can wonder and we can say, gosh, that doesn't seem right. We can ask all of these questions and our God's got us. It is okay. I think curiosity is better than certainty. I think it's good to wonder and ask questions and rethink things we think we know. We might not always change our minds, and certainly most of the time we probably won't. But I think that curiosity, I think wondering, I think asking questions, that's better than certainty sometimes. So it's okay to be Thomas. He's not a doubter. He's curious. So ask questions and know that our God's got you. Our God is bigger than any question you can ask. And Jesus will be there saying, peace be with you. I got you. It's all good. Have a good week, friends.